Hello and welcome to MacMucker Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series. And today, I'm gonna to be going over scenes, the utility section, and the assignable section. Lots to cover, so let's get right into it. So, everything we're looking at today is over here in the right-hand panel. So let's start at the top, and we're looking at our assignable section. So you've got three sets. These represent themselves on the desk. Um, they all cover the same knobs, but you just have options of which one you're showing. So I only really use set A in this scene. This one's set up for a live performance, where I have my band spread out over the first 16 channels on the 16, 32 channels on the top and second page. So if I'm actively changing something there, sometimes I'll be able to bring them down and push up uh, an auxiliary. So I've got my three um, auxiliary stereo channels. I've got one, three, and five, because they're all stereos, and the DCA. So if I need to adjust something like the computer input, a laptop input, or another input, I can adjust that while I'm changing mic levels and guitar levels. So if we're transitioning between, it's really simple and easy to do all from the top page. So that's something I really love about these signables. You can do so many things with them. It's the demo default from Behringer has effects and you can do tap delays on the buttons. So many great options. I've set it up for uh, the home buttons of each channel and the mute buttons. So I can turn them on and off. Really useful stuff. Um, next, uh, let's look at utility. So utility is a really useful tool um, for showing different um, pages. It's not something I use so much on the software. It's something that has a different function in the desk and is a lot more useful there. But here it gives you the option to have different faders, different pages and sections punched out separate from the desk. For example, you can have just buses one to eight as a completely separate window. It's really useful. The coolest thing about utility though is probably uh, so you have two user inputs and the DCA spell. And I'll cover those down over here. They also, all three of those present themselves on the left panel as well. So user inputs are things you can define, I like fader banks you can define for yourself. So you can have whatever inputs you want on those. So I can edit it and just chuck in whatever I want. Say I want those, and then I want all of these. And really it's it's that simple. And that's a user input. And that's real user page. And that's really useful to have. Um, this isn't something that's on the desk. Obviously it's only on here. You've got two layers of that. And then DCA spill shows your DCA and everything in that DCA. So you can come here and go to five, seven, or eight. It's just gonna show you your DCA, and all the channels that go through that DCA. Very useful as well. So then the last thing I wanna talk about is paramount to using the software or the desk, which is the scene section. Now this is absolutely one of the most useful tools in here to be able to recall up to a hundred scenes um, from the desk. You've got, I think, you've got zero to 99 scenes and in snippets, and then you can have cues as well, which is a mix of scenes and snippets to be able to run through a show. So you've got, if you're doing a live performance, you could have a scene for each song and then snippets inside that scene and just run through hitting the go button. And you can have it only recall parts, like fader positions, where it doesn't recall gain channels and stuff on snippets. It's a great option. You can also put in a safe here. So if say, I say, put say the routing safe, I might have to select something to do that. You can set up safe so that recalling a scene doesn't affect that part. Really useful. Here, see. So, scenes are something I use all the time. I have a backup default scene on my desk that I recall, and everything I know is how I want it. So I've just basically reset it back to my default. Really useful. Snippets is just for little things you want to change. 
um, which is again really useful. It's not something I've ever really gotten into using, but having that functionality there is, I can definitely see its use case and, and understand how important that will be, even if I've never experimented with it. It's not something I would use that much in my workflow, but if you're doing big live performances, definitely I can see its purpose. Uh, another great thing I love about scenes is being able to make scenes on the software and then put them on the desk. So I can edit them however I want on the software, chuck them on USB and then put them on the desk and being able to move them between desks and between softwares and saves you a lot of work, you know, and then being able to edit, use a keyboard to change the name on the scribble strips instead of having to do it on the two scroll wheels on the desk saves so much time and it is so much easier. I love doing it this way it is often I will, I'll take my default scene on my computer, edit it for the band that I have coming up and then when I get there to set up, I just load the scene, simple, easy, saves so much time messing around, you know, I can guess, to, I can guess on and estimate on any levels and everything, it's so useful. You also have this mixer safe section which lets you put in safes for all of the recall that you do. When recalling a scene, you can put safes on set things so that they won't be affected when you recall a scene. This can be mixer wide, which again, really useful. You can do it on particular buses and channels and all sorts of different things. Very useful. Uh, again, not something I've had to touch that much, but knowing it's there, Knowing I can, knowing that when I have a problem, like having to change, like you set up a scene, you set up, you've then changed the gain of a channel because they've brought a different guitar or whatever, and then you're gonna go on to load your next scene, which is the next song. You can save that gain, load the next scene, and that gain won't be adapted or changed based on that scene. So it's just really useful for if something changes in the moment, you can save it. And, and put a safe on it so that it can't be changed when you recall the next scene. Again, just, I know this is a, you know, this is the same across pretty much all digital desks, I think, um, but it's such, it's such a, it's a feature I use every time I use my desk, right? It's, it is very useful. And with that comes these show control bottoms down here, you've got the save, the load, applying to the scenes, you got copy, and then you have paste. So, the thing about paste is when you're pasting something, you can decide what you're pasting. So I can take that, I can get over this channel, and I can decide which of these I want to paste, select all or none, I just want those two, you know, whatever it is. Really useful, simple, you don't have to go around messing in the library, or scenes, snippets. You want, like I have my free wireless mics, Make the first one, copy it, paste it across the other, and then just slightly change the label. Super simple. So, hopefully you've learned lots from that. Really learned the importance of all of those features, the scenes, the utility, the snippets, show control, the assignable section. Hopefully you've learned how important all of that is, and you've learned lots about how to use it and when to use it. Now, if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading the next of this series and go check out the playlist that I've linked to go see all the previous ones about this software. Really useful information in there. Now let's go do some audio.